Hi, Pastor Jeff. This is Pete and Christian, and we're uh, making a video for you um, to help you uh, with uh, your recording of lessons and, and uh, things that you wanted to record using Camtasia. And we had talked about that a couple times, and I just thought maybe we should just go ahead and get it started. So um, I'm using Camtasia, and I know that's the one that uh, you said you have tried, and if you want to try and get another um, a free trial on that, uh, you know, go ahead. Um, so I'm using that. So, but any screencasting software that you use is you get a video file that you can learn and, and edit and things like that. Camtasia just seems to be the most powerful. It's a little bit hard to learn at first, but um, once you do, it's fairly simple. Um, I shouldn't say it's hard to learn, but it it takes just some instruction on how to how to use it. But after that, you you kind of get it. So after you open up Camtasia, if that's uh, what you're using. Um, the first thing when you do, you'll get um, a screen like this or a, a, a window like this. If you don't, you can just go up to File and uh, do st a new recording and then this should pop up. And you can select whether you want to record your screen or not where it says full screen. Or if you want the camera on so you can see yourself in a box like I am, um, you can leave that on or turn that off. Um, you'll just check your input, your audio. Um, when you're talking, uh, before you record even, you should see um, the, uh, the bars moving up and down there. Um, and then when you're ready, you just hit the red record button and then it will count down three, two, one, and then it will start recording. Then you just go ahead and do what you want. If you want to use your screen, if you're using slides or something like that, you know, we'll just record your entire screen. Uh, it also will record you. Oftentimes you won't see yourself. Like I don't see myself right now in a little window like you did before you started recording, but it's still there. It will show up uh, when you edit the um, edit your video. Okay? Um, so this was the file like up here. Um, new recording is what you um, you'll select when you want to start a, start a new one. If you don't like your video, you can always delete it and start again. You'll just close the windows, go to File, and do New Recording again. When you're done recording, up here at the top, you'll see this red film strip. If you click on that and hit Stop Recording, it will stop. Uh, pause. You can pause it and then continue again. But when you're ready, uh, you've done what you want, uh, you hit Stop Recording. When you uh, stop, what will open up is a screen like this. You can see that again. This is just a screenshot. It's not a real one, but your this is this box over here is your file, and then down below you see one line, which is your audio, and uh, your screen your um your screenshot there, and then the lower bar is your uh, whatever you had on your screen. All right. So it looks kind of intimidating. Uh, it's it just needs a little instruction, and it's not too too hard to work with. So if you can get um, to this far, then you can go on up to sit file and save as and save that file. And then we can work with that, uh, editing it and putting in graphics and, and things like that. But if you have a couple tests or a couple trials you want to do or actually record something, um, all you need to do is just have what you're going to want to record. Um, and then go, you know, just like you used to do in your podcast or your video podcasts, those would be great. Um, it will save it as uh, a funny name. It's like, um, oh, I forget. Let me look back here. Uh, yeah, here. Dot CM Proj, uh, something project. I'm not even sure what CM is, but that's how it saves it. And then we can just load it back in and, uh, and edit it. So if you can get that much, um, and then let me know when you're ready, we can find, maybe find some time and we can go over working on making title screens and inserting special effects and, and things like that. So, Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and uh, just let me know um, if this is still something you want to pursue and when we can meet together to do it. Okay? Have a great day. Bye.